everyone, we're going to find the exact length of the curve for our parametric equations over the interval 0 to pi. We're going to use this formula here for our arc length. So we're going to have to differentiate x and y with respect to t. So we're going to first do derivative of x with respect to t. And that's going to give me negative 3 sine of t plus 3 sine of 3t. And derivative of y with respect to t is going to equal uh, 3 cosine of t minus 3 cosine of 3t. Alright, um, I'm going to square, we have to square both of these and then add them. So I'm going to square everything. Square, square, square. Basically we're using a plus or minus b squared equals a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. So for the first piece we're going to get a 9 sine squared of t minus 18 sine of t sine of 3t plus 9 sine squared of 3t. That's this one. And then plus this one's going to be um, 9 cosine squared of t minus 18 cosine t cosine 3t plus 9 cosine squared of 3t. Now in the next slide what I'm going to do is group these together. So I'm going to group these two together, these two together, and these two together and factor out uh, the uh, coefficients here. So I'm going to get 9 times cosine squared of t plus sine squared of t minus 18 cosine of t cosine of 3t plus sine of t um, sine of 3t uh, plus 9 cosine squared of 3t plus sine squared of 3t. Alright, so for this, these two are going to equal 1. This is going to be 1, and this is going to be 1. So you're going to have 9 times 1 minus 18. Now this is your sum and difference formula. It has a plus with two cosines. So we're going to write this as cosine of alpha minus beta. We're going to condense it. And this is like your alpha and 3t is your beta. So we're going to do t uh, t minus 3t and then we still have this plus 9 uh, times 1. Alright. Now, um, Oh, I forgot this cosine here. So this is cosine of t minus 3t. Alright, simplifying this, this is going to be 18 minus 18 cosine. And when you uh, combine those, that's going to be negative 2t. Alright, um, if I factor out an 18, I'm going to get 18 times 1 minus uh, cosine of 2t. Uh, cosine is a, a even function, so I can take away the negative there, make it positive. Also going to, because we're going to have to integrate this, I'm going to use my double angle formula and write this as 18 times 1 minus so that's this part, and this I'm going to write it in terms of sine. So I'll write this as 1 minus 2 sine squared of t. Alright, um, when you take care of this, this is going to end up being 18 
the ones cancel and then you have minus the negative is going to be positive so 18 times 2 sine squared of t so this is going to be 36 there so let's put this under our radical sign and now find the arc so basically we're going to get uh, we have 36 sine squared of t all right so now let's find the length our length is going to equal the integral from 0 to pi of the square root of 36 sine squared of t dt. The uh, square root of 36 is 6. So we have the integral from 0 to pi. Square root of sine squared is going to be absolute value of sine um, of t dt. All right, since we're in quadrants uh, 0 to pi, my sine is going to be positive um, in quadrants 1 and 2, so I can take away the absolute value signs. Um, so that's going to be uh, the integral from 0 to pi of sine of t dt. All right, now let's go ahead and integrate this. The antiderivative of sine is going to be a negative cosine. So negative 6 uh, cosine of t, and we're evaluating this from 0 to pi. All right, so at pi we're going to get uh, negative 6. Cosine of pi is negative 1, but your minus. Cosine of 0 is 1, so that's 1. This is going to equal negative 6 times negative 2 which equals 12 so 12 is your uh, length of the curve the exact length thank you have a nice day bye bye <music>